What's up, peoples? It's your boy MM2K back with another video. Real quick, I wanted to talk about this, y'all. And get everybody's thoughts on it in the comment section below. You know what I'm saying? You know how we do it. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, rock those bells, please, so you know when your boy be dropping his doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because you know the slogan. I am not too proud to ask. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, according to an article, by Jack of all controllers. They are stating that Jim Ryan officially confirmed Sony Interactive Entertainment won't be making another PlayStation handheld. Hold on, let, let me do it like this. Let me let me just display it on the screen, boom, 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 like that, all right? And I'm assuming that this all came about from Sony's 25th anniversary article that they did from Game Informer. Let me just read this from the article uh, from Jack of all controllers itself. It says to celebrate PlayStation's 25th anniversary, Sony did a massive anniversary article with Game Informer that had tons and tons of different information about the history of Sony console lines. And the PlayStation Vita was discussed. I think that's a little typo there, but that's all right, yo. We, we we're gonna let them slide on that one. And that's where it all went downhill for fans. If it wasn't clear enough, Sony is done with handhelds, and this is supposed to be an excerpt from that article. PlayStation Vita was brilliant in many ways, and the actual gaming experience was great, but clearly it's a business that we're no longer in now. And that's from Jim Ryan, president and CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment. Uh, Jack of all controllers wraps up and they say, it's a shame PlayStation Vita was the best handheld out there. It was so ahead of its time and a beautiful piece of hardware. The entire PlayStation 25th anniversary issue available for free via link that they have on the site. Okay, so here's your boy's thoughts on this, right? Um, as far as the handheld is concerned, I think both the PSP and the PlayStation Vita had a very great framework and they could have done very great things. I mean, and, and I think, um, I don't know which one it was, either the PSP or the Vita, actually I think had like 30, 40 million sold. Now don't don't quote me on that, I'm just, I'm just running off the top here. You know what I'm saying? But from what I understand, they still had a lot sold, okay? It just didn't have the success that Sony was hoping that it would have, it wasn't their answer for the handheld market. Um, you take a look at that though, and I th a couple things come to mind. First and foremost, I really thought the Vita was gonna be it. I thought the Vita was going to fix all of the, the mistakes and in the, in, in the missing components that the PSP had. Um, and that was, you know, being like a full PlayStation DualShock controller in your hands with the screen. And they didn't do that. Like, I'm very shocked and surprised that PlayStation didn't integrate full um, shoulder and trigger buttons. You know what I'm saying? Um, they did. They went with this touchscreen thing that just fell out of place and didn't work right. And you had to get a peripheral to kind of work right. And then when you use the PlayStation Vita with the PlayStation Remote, that peripheral didn't always work because people didn't program the button layout for the v Vita Remote Play to work well with their games. Um, and that's a shame because that could have really been something. That could have really been something. Um, I tested it out. I just bought a Vita last year to try to test it out. And it didn't work, you know, as I expected, even though it was it was okay, it was doable. That being said, that was problem number one, I think, with the last handheld. And problem number two is just a simple fact that PlayStation did such a wonderful job with this Android implementation a few months back where now you can do PlayStation Remote via your Android. <laughs> they don't need you to get a Vita in order to play their stuff. Because let's face it, y'all, whenever they drop their handhelds, people aren't buying the software. That's the problem. Um, 40 million could have been sold. But if people aren't buying your software, it's a bust. You use the software, I mean, you use the hardware as a catalyst of the software. And I don't think that the software was reaching the saturation that they wanted it to. But those are just my thoughts. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. You know what I'm saying? Is this a big deal? Do you think that um, 
Sony needs to stay in this market. According to this excerpt as it's framed from Jack of All Controllers, it looks like they may not be. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. As always, check me out with the PNTS Network. We got some big things coming. Stay tuned. Check me out with the Broadband Bullies. Big things popping as always. And definitely don't miss your boy on the HNDC Hard Knock Digital Culture on HNDC.live or go to twitch.tv forward slash bodymos2000. With that being said, you all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace. Oh,